Raiders. One, two, three. Raiders. Raiders. Good work. By his own accounts, Ken Mink was a pretty good college basketball player. I scored uh, 21 points in my opening game in college. That was in 1956, Mink's freshman season at Lee's College in Jackson, Kentucky. That same year, someone doused the coach's office in shoes with shaving cream. School officials didn't find the prank funny. President Landolt said that we have someone who said they saw you in that area or coming out of his office or something like that. And he said, you're out of here. Over a half century later, the now 73-year-old Mink maintains his innocence, as well as the desire to settle some unfinished business. While shooting baskets in a neighbor's driveway, Mink decided to give college basketball another try. After contacting eight schools and getting no response, he was about to give up hope when the phone rang. It was Roan State Community College basketball coach Randy Nesbitt. We can help somebody like Ken reach a goal that he had, kind of give him closure to something that's bugged him for a couple years. No, actually 53 years has bugged him. <laughs> At first, teammates treated him with kid gloves, but soon after, Ken became one of the guys. We think it's hilarious having a 73-year-old talk about some of the stuff that, like I'll talk about with the teammate and some of the stuff that, you know, most of the times you, around the elder, you wouldn't talk about. We'll catch him with his, uh, his shorts pulled up, you know, up to his stomach, you know, <laughs> trying to make him a little shorter, you know. They asked me if I could dunk one day, and I said, yeah, dunk a donut. That's the only thing I could dunk, you know. On November 3rd, Mink became the oldest player to ever score in a college game. His story has resulted in numerous talk show appearances, and there's even some discussion of a possible movie. I've gotten hundreds of responses from people around the country and around the world, actually, uh, from six different countries that have contacted me about, you know, I'm an inspiration for them, and they are taking a new attitude toward, toward aging because of that. Although his playing days at Roan State are coming to a close, technically, Ken still has two years of college eligibility remaining. And while he's already reached the majority of the goals he set for himself, Ken says he welcomes the chance to continue his inspirational story at another school. Ray D'Alessio, CNN, Harriman, Tennessee.